This is Big Idea 2. Earth is 4.6 billion years old. Earth's rocks provide a record of its history. To understand Earth's past, geoscientists study the structure, sequence, and properties of rocks. They look at sediments and fossils to help them reconstruct events in Earth's history. They particularly look at geologic processes that are active today. This is crucial to interpreting Earth's past. Measuring the decay rates of radioactive elements in rocks and fossils is the most reliable way of determining their age. Our solar system formed from a vast cloud of gas and dust about 4.6 billion years ago. This age of 4.6 billion years is well established from the decay rates of radioactive elements found in meteorites. And also from rocks that have been brought back from the moon. Some of this gas and dust came from the remains of the supernova explosion of an earlier star. Because of this, we might say that our bodies are made of stardust. Our planet formed from dust, gas and multiple collisions with smaller planetary bodies. Earth's metallic core began to form as gravity pulled iron into its centre. Rock surrounding the core was mostly molten at first. Over a long time, Earth's outer layers cooled to form the mantle and the crust. Atoms of different elements combined to make minerals, which further combined to make rocks. More than four billion years ago, Earth's ocean and atmosphere began to form from the rise of lighter materials out of the mantle. Earth's crust has two distinct types, continental and oceanic. Continental crust exists at Earth's surface and can be billions of years old. But oceanic crust continuously forms and recycles back into the mantle. Nowhere in the ocean is it older than about 200 million years. Studying other objects in the solar system helps us learn Earth's history. But active geological processes, such as plate tectonics and erosion, have, over time, altered or destroyed most of Earth's very early rock record. Life on Earth began more than 3.5 billion years ago. Fossils show that life began with single-celled organisms. They were the only life forms for billions of years. In contrast, humans, or Homo sapiens, have only existed for a tiny fraction, about 0.004% of Earth's total history. During Earth's vast history, both gradual and catastrophic processes have produced enormous changes. Over long periods of time, massive supercontinents have formed and then broken apart. The compositions of the atmosphere and the oceans have changed. Sea levels have risen and fallen. Many species of living things have evolved and then become extinct. Ice sheets have advanced and later melted away. Meteorites from space have slammed into Earth's surface and mountains have formed to eventually be eroded away. So, Earth's long history has been one of constant change. And that's big idea too. Earth is 4.6 billion years old.